Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be playing another episode of Mass Effect 2. Last episode, we did Legion's loyalty mission and my eyes have been opened up to many, many things since doing it. I can't wait to see how this game is going to go from here on out. I'm not sure if today is nearing the end of Mass Effect 2 or what. I actually have no idea how much longer we have to go. I have a feeling that we might have to do another side quest or maybe go scan some planets or do something before the IFF is ready. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm gonna go try to find some side quest and go scan some planets, see where we go from there and maybe it will kick off. But as of right now, all that we have left in our journal is the arrival DLC and the Firewalker mission that we slash I refuse to do. So I don't know exactly how today is going to go, if it's even the last episode or not. I, I'm just, this is a blind playthrough. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm just here and I'm ready for it. And I'm very excited. Honestly, I am a little bit nervous too. If you guys know me from Mass Effect 1, and I don't know if I've actually mentioned it in Mass Effect 2, but I'm not a big like save reload type of player. I like to be fully immersed and that also involves not going back and redoing missions. I'm not super big on save scumming. I think that our decisions are our own and however it plays out is how it's meant to be. I feel like save scumming kind of ruins my immersion for me. Of course, it's gonna be really difficult if I don't make the right decisions and we end today, if we are even ending today, on a sour note or a sad note or something really bad happens but that is the life of Irish Shepherd. sometimes you have very intense decisions that you have to make saving Caden or saving Ashley saving the council or not saving the council sometimes you have to live with your consequences and I am personally a very big believer when I'm playing an RPG game that I'm not going to save scum. And I know that a lot of you have different opinions about it. I just wanted to put the disclaimer out there that whatever happens, happens in this playthrough. And that is what you will see. I honestly don't know if today is the last day or not. If it is, thank you guys so much for all of the love and all of the fun times bad times in between times that we have had in this playthrough i have very much enjoyed getting to know this community growing as a mass effect lore lover with you all and i just can't wait to see how things progress into mass effect 3. i do plan on playing mass effect 3 immediately after i finish mass effect 2. i might give myself like a small breather i do know that even if today is the last day we still have the arrival dlc to get through and i don't believe that we will get through that all in one day unless the ending is coming and it's super short and there's nothing left to it but we will see. We will see. I have no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing, how long it's going to take to get there. So it's really hard for me to gauge where we are in the end of this. Also, I'm pretty sure this video will be coming out on Wednesday. So happy Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrate and welcome into the community for those of you that have gotten a membership through me. I think we have like six or seven members so far. Honestly, I am blown away by that number. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support my channel and I'm just so glad that that many people are enjoying my content enough to hit the join button and join my community. I am just, I'm blown away that I even have that many people. I was expecting maybe like one or two, maybe. Very warm and fuzzy inside thinking about how you guys are supporting me, even though I have not been making YouTube videos for that long. I'm just, I'm absolutely floored. So thank you all so much for joining the community. For those of you that have subscribed, liked, comment on, commented on these videos, 
it means the world to me that you all are interacting and loving this journey as much as I am. I just want to thank you guys so much for making this such a amazing experience for me. Even the really juicy episode where the comments got heated, I honestly still really enjoyed it. It did get a little bit toxic in some parts. It's the internet. It'll happen. People are entitled to their opinions here. Honestly, just enjoyed it because I saw how passionate this community is about Mass Effect the lore behind it and their own shepherd's choices and it made me realize how intense and of an emotional reaction this game brings out i thought that maybe i was just getting very emotionally invested in the game like i normally do with most games i didn't realize until the comments started blowing up on the morden grunt missions that this community is amazing and even if you all don't agree with the decisions that my shepherd makes i still 100 percent respect everyone that has commented on my videos and i appreciate the heck out of you guys even though you might think that i made the wrong decisions or my playthrough is not exactly identical to yours i have still had an amazing time in this game and growing with you all learning from you all and talking to everybody here has been such an amazing time. I was given the tip to maybe film Mass Effect 3 on my own and take like a couple months to just film it without the comment section. But honestly, I didn't run into any spoilers. I have amazing mods that tell me which ones to read and which ones to avoid. I didn't see any spoilers. Thank you so much to my mods that look out for me. And honestly, I just, love talking with you guys i love putting out the videos sometimes i might have a couple videos ahead of you guys but for the most part i am very much caught up and interacting with you all and very much in it with you i enjoy it a lot doing it this way and i will continue to play mass effect 3 and put out videos the same way that i have been because it has been an awesome journey with you all and i couldn't imagine it any other way even if some of the comments get heated and juicy and um like i said it's the internet it will happen it's inevitable i signed up for this i think we're ready to hop in and see wherever today's adventure takes us i have no clue if it's the last episode if we have more if there's even more that we have to do to even trigger the iff mission i am just hopping in there blind this has been an amazing journey and i'm just ready to see where we're headed next so without further ado let's go there's nothing left in our missions or assignments that we can do right now i guess we could do project firewalker if we absolutely have to um to trigger the iff mission but i think i'm just gonna go out and scan some planets and try to find a side quest to do instead so let's see yeah we'll just the go iff is nearly installed shepherd However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. Oh, he's so loud. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go around and like scan some planets and try to see. Hey Commander, good news. Looks like the Reaper <gasps> IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. It already kicked it off? Oh my god. I'm so glad that I didn't do anything off screen. I was actually going to go around and like planet scan and pick up some side quest residue next time. I'm so glad that I just turned the game off after last filming. Oh. Okay. Um, a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. What's the estimate? Don't take any chances. What's the time estimate? We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. You thought of everything. I'll see you there. Let's move. Yeah, you've definitely thought of everything. And I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. 
This is crazy. I can't believe we're already starting. <gasps> my stomach hurts. My brain's already like thinking about, oh my gosh, I didn't think it was gonna kick off this soon. Okay. So where are we going? We're just gonna go down and wait for it to be ready. Okay. telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, We're shit. not aboard. <gasps> We're not on the ship. Getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Oh. Give me the ship. What? Oh my You're crazy. God. You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. Joker, you have the to do it. The shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. Oh no! The lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, oh, damn it. <gasps> oh no! Whoa! We're playing as Joker? <gasps> Whoa! This is crazy. I have goosebumps all over my body. The floor lighting, okay. Oh my God, can we run? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh I felt like I heard the bones crunching. Oh. Oh my God. God, why do we leave? Why couldn't they do this with us on board? I am so confused why we left. I don't... Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Oh Joker, no, I swear, if we kill... If things. they kill Joker Stay off, I'm gonna protection. cry. <laughs> oh my god, Kelly! Oh my god! Shit, shit, shit! Oh... Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. Where's Dr. Chakwas? Oh my god, people are screaming. All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great, this is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh my god. This is not the time, Joker. This is not the time for jokes. Uh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. <laughs> that is a joke. Right. Oh the my behind God. you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. <laughs> the look on his face. I feel like, at least, it, like, I don't know what I looked like, but I felt like we had the same reaction. Like, what <laughs> did you just say? <laughs> wow, Edie is... Spicy. I blame Joker. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. That's where I am. Oh my god. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Oh my god. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. But what? What about the crew? They are yeah. gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Crew? Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. 
securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Donnelly, Kelly, the people in the locker that were talking about their families. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. Poor Joker. I'm really glad that Joker survived, but we lost so many people. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. Yeah, it's None not. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. The black box reaper viruses? Are you okay? I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. God, that has to be so hard for him. So, like, can we get them back? They had those, like, pods and stuff. Maybe we can get them back. We need to get the crew back. Is the virus contained? I'm not interested in excuses. It's not anyone's fault. We didn't see it coming. I We need to get the crew back. I think it's time we bump up our trip to the Collector homeworld. The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against Collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. I trust it. I feel like I trust Edie, especially after what we just went through. She helped Joker, like, lit up the floor for him to get what needed to be done. And she saved the Normandy. I trust it. Edie's had plenty of opportunity to kill us. Yeah. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. This is crazy. I think we're ready, but I'm scared. I am so scared. We've been waiting for this moment for so long, and everyone's been talking about how it's like a suicide mission, how there's no coming back from it. Oh, this is crazy. I think we're ready. Let's do it. I don't think walking around and seeing an empty ship is going to help anyone. I... Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Yeah, I think we're ready. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Oh, man. Use the Omega-4 relay to begin the final assault upon the Collector base. I can't believe this is happening. I thought that I was going to have, like, an episode full of side quests and that everything was going to be sunshines and roses again today and I feel like I am totally unprepared mentally for this right now okay let's go talk to Edie by Joker <sighs> Kelly I received word of the attack. This feels like a direct insult from the collectors and a sign that we've got them scared. The loss of your crew is devastating, but remember that they signed on for the mission knowing the risks. Miranda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you're fully prepared to go through the Omega-4 relay. Yeah, nobody said anything about getting the crew back. They were just like, well, the virus is done. We can make the jump now. No one said anything when I told them that we need to go get our crew back. I know you're eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice to your crew's sacrifice. When you are ready, you have my full support. Disservice to your crew's sacrifice. 
Get it done, Shepard. Nobody else can. Oh, man. All right, let's go talk to Joker before we leave. I don't think that anyone will have any dialogue, but let's just see what he has to say. This is crazy. I can't believe we lost our entire crew. Commander, sorry about the crew and I- Don't say sorry. You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? I because didn't you see know it what? coming. I should, I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I don't need your crap. That's so mean. He's going through a lot of stuff. I mean, think about the stages of grief that he's probably going through right now. In the room, he was quiet. Probably disbelief. Now he's angry. He'll get there. He had a really rough hour or however long that took. I just... Yeah, you had a rough time. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez, don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. Yeah. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. Oh my god. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. What the heck? You're flirting with the ship. <laughs> I don't really know if it's called flirting. I think Edie was flirting with Joker, though, with that comment. How is it possible that she's able to make a remark like that? I mean, she's made jokes before, um, but it was like, it was very, it was flirty. It was definitely fl flirtatious. I think you're taking the human machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Joker and Edie, huh? Edie's replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you too? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations and... It's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. Wow. All right, take care of yourself. I need you ready. I think he needs to just take a mental second for a minute, but yeah, I do need him ready as well. well you let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Okay. So let's see if Edie has something to say. Yes, Shepard. What is this room? Let's talk about you. Tell me about Cerberus. Um. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Connection to the ship, your job, another topic. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Yeah, I don't think there's That's all for now. anything Locking new to out, say Shepherd. to Edie. Okay, so what is it telling me to do now? Use the Omega-4 relay. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. This is so terrifying. Okay, well, before we go, I'm going to go up and feed my fish. I know that sounds awful, but we've had enough tragedy on this ship and Kelly is not here. We don't need the fish to die too. <laughs> Take one good look around because this might be the last time that we look at this ship. I have no idea what is about to go down. Little hamster, you hanging in there? Yeah. Actually, I think I'm gonna go down and talk to Legion real quick too. I don't know if he has anything else to say, but I think he's the only other one that I haven't gotten all the dialogue out of. So I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Everyone's gone. <gasps> Dr. Chocolates. Shut up. 
Shepard, Commander. I have questions about the Gap. Specify. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready. I'd like to find out more about you. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 <gasps> armor welded to you. Where'd you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. What? That was two years ago. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your heart suit. Why are you so interested in me? So Legion kept it as a memento? Why were you trying to contact me? You opposed the heretics, those that took the old machines as gods. There must be more to it. All kinds of organics fought Sovereign and his Geth allies. Yeah. Why am I so interesting? You were the most successful. You killed their god. You succeeded where others did not. Your code is superior. My code. The Geth are listening in on our transmissions? Organic life reacts to stimuli in unpredictable ways. We wish to learn. How? What do you mean by stimuli? We placed a fabricated story on the extranet that a certain arrangement of stars viewed from the Batarian homeworld formed the face of a Salarian goddess. Without waiting for verification, some declared a proof of the goddess's existence. Those who noted the lack of proof were attacked. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Salarian cult tried to purchase colonization rights to the stars and found they did not exist. What in the world? You poke us for reactions? Sounds like you're running experiments on us. You are sapient life, but not like us. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the Quarian creators. We do not understand their judgments in the Morning War. What is the Morning War? How so? What do you mean by stimuli? Oh. We placed a fabricated story on the extranet. That's so crazy. The stars viewed from the Batarian homeworld formed the face of a Salarian goddess. Without waiting for verific, the arguments like, taught us much. Why? It sounds like you're running experiments. You are sapient. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the Quarian creators. We do not understand their judgments in the Morning War. Yeah, the Morning War, I'm guessing that's when they decided to start hurting the Geth, um, start destroying them, not hurting. Yeah, I'm guessing. What's the Morning War? The conflict between the Geth and the Quarian creators. The war fought at the dawn of our intelligence. It concluded with the departure of the Creator Migrant Fleet. That's crazy. So they're just trying to understand the Corian more? That doesn't explain why you used my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner or with something else? No data available. Not able to understand their own feelings. They just do. Oh, that's so strange. It's interesting to me. It's super, super interesting. I think just because I am also interested in AI, I think that AI is wildly interesting to me. Um, I'm one of those people that like putting the pictures in the AI machines and seeing what comes out and studying it because you guys know how much I love art and it's just super interesting to me. But talking to Legion and seeing that he is feeling with his eyebrows, his expressions, now to find out that he's been looking for Shepard because he knows that Shepard was successful in defeating the Sovereign defeating one of the gods and 
holding our N7 armor close to him slash wearing it, it's definitely a sentimental value to Legion. It's so crazy. Wow, okay. Legion is very, very interesting. All right, so I think we should go down and prepare mentally for this jump. I am scared, I'm nervous, I'm excited to see what happens, but we've been talking about this since the very, very beginning, how the Omega-4 relay jump is a suicide mission. And I'm just, I'm just so scared. I don't know. I'm going to save here. I just told you guys that I don't save scum, but I am going to save here just because I'm so nervous. Oh, just doing like a little bit of deep breathing before I jump into this. I'm like starting to get heartburn. <laughs> Getting a little bit of heartburn right now. <laughs> Okay, so we're heading out. We're we're doing it. We're doing the thing. Where's the Omega 4 relay? Is it in the Omega Nebula? I feel like it's in the Omega Nebula. Yep, there it is. All right, so let's fuel up. I have no idea if we need anything else. We have done all of the upgrades. We are missing all of our crew members except for Joker and the people in our squad. And now we're about to finally do it. The moment we've all been waiting for. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there's a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those that passing through the relay. But we actually understand why now, and technically it is a bunch of black holes. Okay, here goes nothing. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. Oh, okay. It looks like we do have the option to save our crew. I'm done waiting around. Wait, I need everything ready. We have everything ready. All of our upgrades are there. I think we should go back and rescue our crew. I hope that I'm not killing anyone by doing this, but I, we really need to go rescue our crew. I think that the Normandy is more capable when everyone is on board. And I think just going and, you know, just going straight in would be a really bad call. Let's go rescue our crew. The collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Okay. Ooh. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? <laughs> no, not that it matters. We can do it. Absolutely. As a commander, I'm gonna show no doubt. Inside, I wanna say no, <laughs> but on the outside, it's important for us to say yes, because morale is a big deal right now. Morale can make or break us. We need to, we need to be positive. We've got the right team and the collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. Okay.
a picture of Liara. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. The team is strong, we'll be fine. I don't need to know. The team's strong. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. We should be going. Join us. Eh. <laughs> um, this isn't a field trip. It's definitely not a field trip. I'm going to destroy the Collectors to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Okay. Approaching a Mega Four relay. Everyone, stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical level. Rerouting. Brace for deceleration. Oh, shit. Whoa. Look at all that debris. You got this, Joker. Whew. Too close. Jeez. We made it. This is wild. Whoa. These must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega 4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. It's the ship. Has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. God, it looks like the end of the world in here. What's that? What are those? There were like multiple of them. They're small. Careful, we have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Let's go. Take these bastards out. As long as the Ooh. new plating holds. You want another round? Come on, girl. Let's give it to him. In the hole? Jeez. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, I have no idea who to pick. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with... 
I know a lot of people mentioned that Tally has some really unique dialogue. I was gonna pick Tally regardless because I really believe that we should bring our OG crew with us on these last final missions. I don't know if they're the best for this type of mission. Tally would be good because we're not dealing with organics. Um, and I didn't put anything into AI hacking, so <laughs> there's that. Um, and Garrus, they're just, they're the OG crew, and I really want them by my side as we embark on this craziness. So I think that Tally and Garrus will probably be my squad mates for the duration of Mass Effect 2. And I hope that that is the right choice, but it's really just a heart decision of having our OG people with us um, right now. Oh my god. Wow! They just like yeeted us right up in here. Okay. Run, 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 run. No shield. Yep, we're gonna die. Okay, we've got it. We're okay. They should soften them up. Okay. Kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Oh my god. Ooh. Find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Ooh. Reroute non critical power. This is gonna hurt. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. Okay. 30%. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Jeez! Heavy weapon. Where is it? There it is. Ask the board for the ammunition. Go get them, Jamaica. Good girl. Base. This See is if you can wild. find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Great. Whoa! That was only a small piece of the collector base. That thing is ginormous. Our shields are only at like 20% now, if that. God. Time to show our new teeth. Fire the main gun. Let's go. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride. Oh, I'm getting so many goosebumps. I'm so excited to destroy the ship that hurt everyone that first time. 
almost killed us. Let's go. Get wrecked. Mass Effect field generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All units for impact. Oh. Joker, someone hold on to him. Oh no. <gasps> Joker, you okay? I think I broke a rib. Yeah. Or all of them. Why was anyone holding on to him? During the crash, restoring operation will take time. <sighs> we all knew this was likely a one way trip. No, I'm not throwing my life away. We'll still make it. This can't be a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. Yeah. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? We're not going to be pessimistic. We have to be optimistic. Is the ship safe here? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. Okay. It's a good thing. Jeez, this thing is... In shambles. What's up with her eye? Oh, it's fine. Okay, just a glitch. <laughs> I thought her eye, like, popped out or something. It looked weird. <laughs> this isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors. And that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the collectors are probably holding them in there. Okay. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good, both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. Let's look for alternatives. We create a distraction. Let's blow the doors open. Get someone to open from the other side. Mm, what are the alternatives? It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Oh my god. I don't know if I want to go with Tally. I'm worried that whoever I send in is maybe going to die. Uh, Morden would be okay, but I don't really feel like he's a tech specialist. He's just more of a research um, heavy person. So I don't think that Morden would be a good but neither would Thane. Kasumi could be good. Um, expertly bypass the defenses without firing a single shot. Yeah, Kasumi could be good. Or Legion. Jacob, obviously not. I don't want to send Garrus in there. I don't think that he would do well. So, Tally, Kasumi, or Legion. I think I might send Kasumi in there. I think that she could go in very stealthily. We've seen her operate very well under pressure, and she's super quick. I think that she could get in there and go undetected. Unmatched infiltration specialist. Yeah, I think that this could be a really good pick for us to send Kasumi in. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Kasumi. Kasumi, you've got the tech skills to do this. I won't let you down. 
The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Loyalty through experience. Okay. So choose a leader for the alternate squad. Okay. Um, so for this one, I feel like Garrus would be a good pick because he is used to leading a, leading a squad. I mean, he led his own team um, and was very successful until they got blindsided by their crewmate. So I feel like Garrus or even Miranda, oh, we can pick Miranda, or even Miranda would be a good pick for this one because Miranda is also very good at being um, a leader. I think I'm gonna go with Garrus though on this one. I think that he would be really good at leading the team. It even says here who quit to lead his own elite military group. So let's pick him. I think that he will be a good leader for the alternate squad. I think he'll lead them very well. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. Everyone be careful. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. Oh, the music. Lives depend on us. We don't know how many the collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do here today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Oh man, the goosebumps, all the goosebumps, my entire body. I hope I picked the right people. Look, our specialist, Kasumi, fire team, Garrus, I think he would make, he's gonna make a good leader for that one, for sure. Um, So that means that we can't take Garrus with us. We're definitely gonna bring Tally. Tally is gonna be one of the people that we definitely take with us. Um, I think I might go with Tally and Jack. Wait, can I only pick one person? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I might go with Tally and Jack. Jack has really, really great abilities that I think will be very helpful out there. Um, and Tally, of course, will also be amazing as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Tally and Jack on this one. Oh God, I'm so nervous. You got this, guys. Gauge collectors assist the squad members in the ventilation shaft as necessary. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm inside the ventilation shaft, Shep. It's hot in here, but it's clear. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Okay. We got this. We got this. All right, I'm gonna move that over to here. Synthetic enemies against their own allies. Move that over there. Drains enemies kinetic barriers. We'll do that. Send out tallies and shockwave. I think I'm gonna flip flop those. Warp ammo. Okay. All right, so let's put this on our main gun. Pistol, we'll go ahead and put some cryo. All right, here goes nothing. 
think I'm going to put her warp ammo up there since we can't use that one in seven. This is wild. up over here? Hang on, sorry. Dead bodies everywhere. I probably should have gone down there to get some ammo, huh? Alright, let's see if we can still walk down here. Disable valves to unblock the path. Gotta find a way through that gate up ahead. Okay. There, over by the ventilation shaft. That valve should open the gate. Okay. There's a valve. Okay. Let's go get this valve. One of eight. in danger. I'm getting a countdown. All right, there we go. The harbinger. Pushing forward. There's nothing down here, right? Yeah, no. Oh, look at all the dead bodies. Gosh. Got another obstacle in the way. All right, they're That's in danger no again. Let's run. Easy. Hit the heat exchange. All right, we gotta find the next one. over there um just in case we're pressed for time I gotta tap this. All right, there we go. Why aren't you? It wasn't letting me like take cover. All right, there we go. You guys okay? All right, let's keep pushing forward. We got to find that next one, like, now. We're going to run out of time. All right, all right. Here we go. Here's the next one. Got it. Alright, 
there's another harbinger. There's another one. I will direct this personally. Here we go. Take cover. Gotta get to the next one, like now. All right, there we go. Okay, last one. I didn't realize we were already at eight. Oh, this is Come so in. stressful. Look out! Secret floor. We're in position. We need this door open now. Ooh, okay. Go. We'll cover you. Something's wrong! I can't get the door open! Oh no. Got it! Here they come! Fall back! Suppressing fire! Don't let anyone through that door! Good job, Kasumi. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. What is it? Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more over here. They're all still alive. <gasps> Look at her face. She's still alive. Oh, my God. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. I would never abandon my crew. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. Oh my God, I'm so glad they're okay. I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into gray liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why? Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. They must have a weakness. They have to. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Oh, geez. So we have to pick more biotic specialists. I mean, everything went well last time. Um, I don't know if it's because I picked the right people for the job or I'm just so nervous about splitting crewmates because of what happened 
back in Mass Effect 1, and I'm like, it's really, it's a hard decision for me. So a biotic specialist. I feel like either Samara or Jack would be really good for this. And I think I'm going to go with Samara. Because she's, she's very, very powerful. Um, and so is Jack. Jack is one of probably our strongest biotics. I just feel like I should go with Samara on this one. I think that she would be a good biotic specialist for this one. I just feel like I should put this in Samara's hands. Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Diversion team? Someone good at combat. Um, someone that is good. Maybe we should send Garrus back out on this one. He seemed to run that first team pretty well. I don't want him to get like burnt out though um, by putting a lot of weight in his hands right off the bat, but I think he can honestly handle it. I think that Garrus would be good for this one too. Let's send Garrus out with this with this team as well. I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. Yeah. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. A pickup. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. The mission comes first. I'll have someone escort you. I mean, if we have time. We should try to get people that can't fight back on the ship because otherwise I think they're probably going to die here. They can't stay here. It's not safe. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Okay. Who are we going to send? Someone that we don't really need, like firepower. Wise. I feel like for this one, since we are going to send them back to the Normandy, they were, we're sending them to safety. So I feel like whoever I pick will probably be okay. Unless they just get absolutely annihilated on coming back. Miranda did kind of sketch me out by saying that we don't have time for that or whatever she said. Um, I was going to go with Morden because he has a history of being like a medic and I feel like that kind of makes sense to send him back. Jacob. I feel like Jacob should help on the line. We could send Thane back. I feel like Thane would help um, keep them safe and we don't really need him on the line. Yeah, I think maybe we'll send Thane back with them. Yeah, let's send Thane. I think that he could help like bring everyone back and it says he's adaptable at any certain given position, given situation. So maybe that's like a good thing. Um, let's send him back. Joker, send me the landing zone coordinates. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. All right. So specialist is Samara, fire team, and Thane went back. Okay, so he's not with us anymore. Um, I'm going to stick with bringing Tally and Jack. I think that we're running pretty well together right now. So let's just stick with this with Tally and Jack. I feel like we were doing pretty well with like taking out um, the collector so far. Okay. Moving out. Try to stay close, Commander. Wow, this is crazy. All right, so escort the biotics team. I did see something pop up about an upgrade. I could just get AI, AI hacking since I have it. Um, I might as well, I guess. Okay. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. This is bad. You ready for this? No. <laughs> I'm definitely not ready. Let's go, Commander. Oh, 
Jeez. Okay. Incoming. I will direct this person. There they are. Their shields are mine. On my way. Is my gun still equipped? Yeah, it has the symbol on it. back from this position tell me when you're ready to move okay is anyone behind us how are we are we good now Down. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. All right, I think we're ready. I need to get ammo. Ready to move, Commander. Hopefully, they did drop some. Okay. What's behind me? Hostile engaged. There's those moving platforms again. Trying to grab this ammo real quick. Hostiles, get ahead. Hello, dear people. <laughs> This is so intense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cover. Let me know when you're ready to move. All right. Damn. Only damage the vessel. Your form no is shield. Oh. All right, we're dying. You cannot resist. Evolution cannot be stopped. If I must tear you apart, Sheldon, now I will. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this gun on for now, since I don't have any ammo. Hopefully we get some soon. There we go. such a sniper lover i'd probably love this gun but we need more ammo hopefully oh i think i just grabbed some actually i don't see any ammo dropping this is nerve wracking let's go <laughs> that i'm not seeing like any ammo drop it's like we have to be very careful I'm not seeing anything. Ooh, there's some over there. Okay, nice. I was to say, they can't just not give me any ammo. <laughs> That's not crazy. All right. Could be a real firefight. There we go. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. Well, okay, we're being infiltrated. 
infiltrated. Um, let's go ahead and just bring this one out for now. Holy heavy fire! Whoa, okay, 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 okay. We're okay, we're all right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine! He's dead, he's definitely dead. Okay. I'm panicking a little bit. I'm definitely panicking a little bit. Oh my god. Stop hurting me. Okay. Are we good? Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Okay. I don't know why you guys are panicking. It was definitely under control that entire time. All right. Swarms. They can come out of nowhere. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Up, Commander. Oh my gosh. Okay, stop breathing for a second there. I feel like it looks like it's getting harder for her to hold up this shield. Perfect. I hope she's doing okay. Where'd that come from? Sorry. I will hold on as long as I can. Samara! Oh my god. I hope this isn't I like killing her. I need to get there soon. We can do it. You've got this. This is insane! Oh, the music! Samara's like struggling. We're making it. We're doing it. We're almost there. We're almost there. Awesome. Okay, so we made it. All right, so Garrus. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. Oh God. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come, Come on, on. Garrus. Get inside. Seal the door. <gasps> Garrus. Okay, he's okay, he's okay. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chuck was and the rest of the crew just showed up. Thane's group just arrived, Shepard. Okay. No casualties. Nice. So they, they Excellent. made it. Now let's make it count. Okay. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till they bust through. Someone has to hold the door. We'd better hurry. Let's work as a team. I don't think that we will be able to hold the door. Uh, I think we. I think we should just hurry. We should work as a team together. We can hold them off. We need to finish this before they get through. Yeah. Pick a team to go with you and leave the others here to defend this position. That should buy you some time. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with Tally and Gary still. We're gonna stick by that crew right now. Although Ta uh, Tally and Jack were actually really, really good together. Um, we're pretty strong together. And I think Garrus has been through enough right now. He deserves to just kind of like chill with everyone else. Let's do Tally and Jack. I'm making a last minute change. 
Um, just because running with Jack has been like super good. Um, and of course, Tally is too. So yeah, let's do Tally and Jack. I'm ready, Commander. Me too. Anything to say before we do this? Oh my God, I feel like this is like a really huge moment. The galaxy is depending on us. Feel sorry for the collectors. The collectors, the reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. This is the last step. It's them or us. This is the last step. This is this is it. The moment we've been waiting for. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. Breaking through. Okay, where are we right now? I'm gonna go grab ammo. Grab more ammo again. Just gonna make sure we're not missing out on any ammo right now. This is crazy. There's a harbinger. They get him. Nice. Focus on him for a second. He's good. He's down. He's becoming a harbinger now. That's what I was afraid of. I was trying to get them down. Cannot resist. Your attack is insult. All right, I'm gonna go grab some ammo real quick. No ammo? God. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's go. Okay. Ammo, nice. Ah! What was that? <laughs> what was that yell? Wait, let me get this ammo too, just in case. All right. Let's go activate the platform. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Okay. Andy, what can you tell us? What are they doing? Must be massive. 
What are we about to see in here? If my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. Holy crap! Human. Precisely. It's huge! Look at this thing! It's being injected with human DNA. What in the world? This is what they've been doing over here? This is absolutely insane. Look at its teeth. Why does it look human? They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. So why use organic? It appears that the reaper shape is based on the species used to create it. Humans? Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. Wow. Why would they do this? What do the collectors gain by turning humans into this reaper shell? They may be facilitating the reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. But they're Protheans. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. Oh, man. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. Is it alive? Can it hear us right now? So it's not alive yet. We can still stop it from being... created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. So it could possibly know that we're here right now. I swear if this thing starts to move and try to fight us. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. So it's not alive. The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. We can't let it survive. Yeah, we we have to destroy it. This is this is crazy. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. Of course. Gotta take care of some old friends first. They just covered it up. Maybe just because we blew its tube off. 
Team, status report. Garrett, holding ground, but it's getting hot. You through here, Commander? Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. And I hope Garrett gets uh, his team out. I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. What is it, man? Why? Shepard, you've done the impossible. I'm just getting started. Why is he just now patching through to us? And I didn't do it alone. I did it with my crew. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors leave the machinery and technology intact. No! This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. How? This place? Yeah, it's an abomination. I, um, I don't think any of this technology should be saved. I think all of this needs to burn and die. It's not... No. They liquefied people. Turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. How can I trust you? You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. Yeah. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. I understand where he's coming from. Data is always more important and all of that, yada, yada. I just don't know how I feel about it being in Cerberus's hands. I don't feel right about it. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Yeah. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. It's really cool that I brought Jack, and I didn't do this on purpose. I had no idea the elusive bear was gonna... It's just, like, very interesting to me the way that she's looking at him right now. 
Um, it kind of made that moment so much more intense. I didn't discard you because I have I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. I don't think we need anything that's in here. I don't think we need anything that comes from this place. This is all bad. There is nothing in here that humanity could reap from. There's... If we have to liquefy humans to even get this technology to work, no, we don't need it. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. No. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Nice, Jack got to hang up on him. Let's go. No, we don't need anything that comes from this place. I don't think it's... Let's move. Mm -mm. We got 10 minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Holy smoly. Um. What do I do? Reaper human larva? What does that mean? What are we doing right now? Holy schmoly! Okay, so we are aiming at the eyes. This is crazy. How did it come back to life? Okay, she's alive. Is Tally okay? She's under like shrapnel. Okay, good, she's moving. Do you copy? Commander, come on, Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Uh, Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board okay. are just waiting for you. Whoa. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. I 
know he knew how to shoot. Come on, run. Load up. Releasing control. Releasing control. Let's go. All made it out alive, right? Everyone is a, is here. Oh my god, the ship! I can't believe that thing came back to life. I'm also sad that the cane didn't work. That would have been such a cool Shepard, moment. You're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Oh, he's pissed. Spare me the lecture. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm getting a lot of bullshit on this line. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't try my patience. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Yeah. Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. You're on my team now? I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger's coming, and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. We can tell him to shut up. I've done what you asked. I have. I've done everything that you told me to do. Just because I didn't want to save the data that could potentially have this scenario happen all over again. Yeah, yeah. Joker, lose this channel. Peace out. Nice, that little smirk. Ugh. He's probably regretting his decision. Although, maybe not. He's just probably pissed off that we deleted everything and destroyed it all. Oh, that was crazy. We're back. We made it out. <sighs> Everyone's alive. We got our crew back. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. The music. I'm so glad that everyone survived. Everyone's there. Jack, Grunt, Garrus, Legion. Joker. What is she looking at? What was that? Were we just looking at that? Were we staring at all of those sovereign ships head on?
when you think that you've escaped from this nightmare of the Reapers. Do you know how long and hard it took for us to get rid of that one sovereign ship? There is an entire fleet of them still kicking and now they're probably pissed off more than ever. Oh man. All right, we're gonna let the credits roll and do like a little sign off bit while they're rolling. I'm really glad that the entire crew survived. I don't know if we would have played things differently, not gotten certain loyalties. I think we probably almost lost Zaid because we probably, if we weren't a hundred percent Paragon, we, we wouldn't have gotten his loyalty, but everyone made it. We even got the crew back. We've successfully survived. I didn't have to scum save, even though I wasn't going to anyways. <laughs> um, wow, what a wild ride. I'm thinking back on all of the choices that we've made and going into Mass Effect 3, how those choices are possibly going to play out. I'm just glad that my top, my top five survived, which I mean, now that all is said and done, I feel like I can talk to you guys about my top five. Um, so you all know that Miranda and Jack are definitely two of them. Morden, Garrus, and this last one might surprise you all, but it's Samara. I really, really, really love Samara. Um, and I pick her over Tally just because I feel like she's a super interesting character. She has the whole like mother perspective that I can kind of like tie into and I don't know, man. I guess like it, if it had to be a tie for fifth, it would be between Tally and Samara because I do love Tally and I think that she is super amazing and I love everything that she brings to the crew and she's super sweet and interesting, but I don't know. Sar Samara is just someone that I think is a super interesting character and I don't know. Maybe it's hard to pick a top five. Maybe I don't have a top five. Once again, I'm left speechless. Absolutely speechless. And this music is amazing. It's so good. Like the music in the end of Mass Effect 1 was like intense, but it also brought like signs of hope. Um, but also it was a little bit like eerie. This one is like combat ready uh, where we did it, but we got to keep trying. And I just feel like they've put it together so well. It's all just, it's done. It's done so, so well. I have very much enjoyed my time in this game. I can't believe we finished it today. I went into today thinking like, there's no way that we're almost ready to be done. I was expecting to do side quests today. I thought it was going to be like a side quest heavy day and maybe kick off part of the main story. I definitely didn't think that we would be done. Oh, and then the OG music. Oh, man. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go around and talk to everybody on the cruise ship afterwards next time. And we are going to do the arrival mission next time as well. So it's kind of weird doing like a sign off during credits and all that stuff. But we got to respect and love the game for what it was. And hopping into next time, our last episode for sure 
um, of Mass Effect 2. We're going to do a rival mission. We're also going to go around and talk to everybody on the crew um, on the ship and see how everything pans out, what everyone has to say about the mission. Probably walk around the shambly Normandy. I wonder if they're going to fix it before we go out on any other missions. Next time, we are going to walk around the ship, talk to everybody, and complete the arrival mission. And I am so excited. I, I really want to go around and talk to everyone right now. But I am going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. And we will talk to everybody next time. I think I also just need a minute to stop stressing out. My stomach feels weird. I think I'm going to go and sit on everything that just happened. Watch the ending again because that's just what I do. Write in my journal um, how everything went for my, my future replay off screen and take some time to just kind of process everything that just happened. I'm really glad that everyone survived. I was nervous that branching off into different teams was going to be a bad idea, but I guess we either picked the right people, we had the right loyalties, we had the right upgrades, but everything was was done and nobody died, which I think is amazing. I don't know who we could have possibly lost. If you guys want to share in the comments who you lost on your first playthrough or second playthrough or whatever, um, I would love to read and hear from you guys about it. It is time for me to depart and I will see you all in the next one. We're going to talk to the crew. We're going to do the arrival DLC that you guys have told me to wait until the very end to complete. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode as much as I did. Thank you so much for being with me on this crazy journey. After this last Mass Effect 2 mission, I am going to start Mass Effect 3 pretty much immediately. So you guys have that to look forward to next week. I will do an official Shepard out Mass Effect 2 goodbye on the next episode. So I will see you guys over on that one. Bye everyone.